Hi, so in the previous tutorial, we create our finders and find the value on particular column. So like we find the all the employees who belong to India. So we can do this thing by dynamic query also. So dynamic query is basically used for retrieve data. We cannot perform delete operation by using dynamic queries. If you were aware of Hibernate, then it is exactly similar to Hibernate and Criteria API. The benefit of using dynamic query is that, that you don't need to build service again and again. You can perform in and or like operation etc. by using dynamic queries. So dynamic queries is basically used for two purposes. First, for life regenerated tables like this. We can create dynamic query object like dynamic query factory detail dot for class your entity name alias and the portlet class loader. So you can perform dynamic query on our custom table also. The basic difference between these are here we use portal class loader and here we use portlet class loader. So for Performing different operations like greater than and smaller than we you can use restriction factory util You can also perform same operation by using property factory util So let's go to the Eclipse and try performing some of the operations So like I need to perform a query like select star from employee data This is LIS EMP where employee dot employee address is UK so let me just create this. So now our dynamic query object is created. Now we have to provide our criteria. So as in the slide, we can use restriction factory util. Dot. So this class contains various methods like greater than, equals to, in, is empty less than so we need to use equal we stick to argument property name and value so our alias is emp dot properties address and let value is uk so now our query is ready, we just need to execute the query. That's it.
and look. This is the same result as we expected. So in the slides, I also show you can use property factory util for, for the same purpose also. So let me show you how we can use property factory util instead of restriction factory util. So property factory util. dot for class and then equal look the same result you can also perform like operation so select star from employee data in mp where employee name like a so it will fetch all the name accordingly let me perform this operation so i am using restriction factory util And look the output this is same as this you can also perform end operation or perform like two condition so like i want to fetch all the employees who live in uk and the id is greater than three or four something like that so like this query Select star for employee data, employee where employee dot address is UK and employee ID must be greater than 3. So how we can perform this type of query? So first perform equal operation. So employee address is UK. And adding another criteria. greater than three so let me just check the 
yes it's eid And look, it's ND. It's ND. So we can perform many more operations by using this dynamic queries. So I'm a huge fan of dynamic queries because by using finders we are restricted and we need to deploy our services again and again. But by using dynamic query we can easily create our methods without rebuilding our services. So that's it for now. If you like the video, hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching